Hello there. So today we're going to create an Amazon S3 bucket for web hosting. We're going to create a form and we're going to have a Lambda uh, Python that processes that form. Um, so that means we'll also need an API gateway. So let's get to it. So we're going to create a bucket. My website bucket today. Hopefully that works. I'm going to enable ACLs and I'm going to unblock. And yes, I know that things will be public or can be public. And I think that's it. Yeah, create a bucket. Now there's some things you can do. So website bucket um, properties. So we should, since we're going to be doing web stuff here, we should first thing up here, server access logs. We should do access logging. Um, and I wish they, there was an easy way to change how much gets logged. Oh, wrong one. I want to send it to the other one. Take changes. Um, and then come down and enable static web hosting enable and this allows you to do some things so do redirects we're not going to do that but we're going to say form.html granted i don't think i have that set up to work but properly but that's fine um okay so we have a web bucket here let's put some objects in here so i have two that i use for a web design class now one's an html one's a php file but S3 is just static web hosting, so it's not going to, the page 3P won't work. Um, and we do want to do uh, grant read. Yes, I understand. And upload. Okay, so we have these two files there. So I'm going to click this one. And we'll get the URL from it. And you'll see that we can actually derive the URL for the other one as well. So we're going to just copy this and paste it here. It's a really lame form. It doesn't even have CSS yet because at this stage of the class, we haven't talked about CSS. So let's just put up here as well um, PHP, which downloads it because it just thinks it's a form. So um, Here's the form PHP. Um, anyway, you'll be able to download it at least. Happy day. Um, I'll put the links for these two down below. Here you can right click and uh, view page source and you can see the HTML page. Just a sample getting people started on how to do things. Okay, so um, we have those. Now let's create a Lambda. So I'm gonna come up here, Lambda. And first, I want to get you just generally started on how to create a Lambda. So we're going to create a function. Uh, our, uh, from scratch, we can do it from scratch. Sure. My form processor today. We're going to do Python because that's what my students would be familiar with. So that's what I'll stick with. Um, permissions. So I'm doing this in the AWS uh, Learner Lab, so I'm going to use the lab role just in case I extend what it can do, and I think that's good. So create function. So we have the function form processor. I'm going to add a trigger, and all I want is uh, an API gateway, so I have a URL that will trigger this fun function. I'm going to create a new one. Uh, security, we want to open to the world. Um, Advanced settings, I think that's good. Add. So I have my function here, my API gateway, um, and this is the URL. So I should be able to actually copy this, and it probably is not going to work because I don't have anything there yet. Oh, hello from Lambda. So by default, that has some stuff there. Sweet. So let's come, oh, let's see, my form processor. 
come up here. So they already have some code here that's working. Okay, cool. So now we have to add some stuff. So for example, they have JSON dump hello from Lambda here. Let's add something else. Um, I think we can just do plus plus event and we're going to get the query string parameters. Okay. Oh, and I should do this before I save it so you can see. So I'm not going to save it yet. I'm just going to come back up here to this and I'm going to add something up here. Okay. I'm going to add um, question mark, which means we're going to the query string parameters. Uh, I'm going to say user equals test. Okay. So if I hit enter, you see nothing changed, but it still works. So we'll see if I did this right here in just a second. So we're going to deploy the changes. And now if I come up here and I hit enter, internal server error. So I did something wrong. So let me just troubleshoot that with you so that you can see how to troubleshoot it. So um, monitor, CloudWatch logs is where I like to do it. So I'm going to come back here, by the way, and I'm going to, well, I'll, we'll do the CloudWatch logs first. And this is loading. So log groups. And so this is my form processor today. Yeah, and it just brought me to that. And I hit refresh to get the latest, but if we click here, it's going to say right here, error, cannot concatenate on string, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm going to just come back here. Yeah. Event query string parameters. Oh, that, I think I know why. Let me try one thing. If that doesn't work, then we're going to go to what I know will work. Uh, so code. I need this. Do I need this this way? Actually, this is its own JSON dump. JSON dot dumps. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to do this one. Oh, that's not going to work yet. We're going to do this. Instead of hello, we're just going to do the event deploy. Let's see if I got that right. Query string parameters. I think so. Okay, so come back here. Yeah, I should be able to. Um, what's the form? This one. Test. Internal server. We're going to try this one more time. Deploy. Just changed a few things. Make sure I typed it right. Um, come back here. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so I've got something wrong. Um, so coming back here, here's my code. I'm going to add something here. So we're going to say, say my user equals event. Um, query string parameters. And the one that I'm looking for is user. Okay. And then we could even say here, just add my user. Okay. So deploy. So this is just showing that I can use just one part of it as well. So if I come here, hit enter. I have test there again. Now, I could have additional query string parameters here, ampersand, um, country equals uh, Tonga, ampersand, language 
equals Dutch. Okay, so I've got those things. Uh, just to show you that it'll parse them all in here, but I'm only grabbing right now this one. Okay, so I have a form processor set up in Lambda. Let's look at the sample page. So if we look here, uh, view page source, I can see that I have a first name, a last name, a country. So first name, last name, country, and uh, um, a subject. Okay, so I'm going to just point this. So let me grab my URL here. And I'm going to edit my, I'm going to edit a form V2. Where did I open that? Shoot. It's not opening. Oh, ha. Open with another application. Jet. Okay. So I have form V2 here, and I'm just going to set a form action. Oh, this is to the URL. Okay. So the form action, I'm going to do a get. I'm using VI. I'm not using VI. <laughs> I'm trying to save it with the VI command. So it's saved form v2 so i'm going to come back to my s3 um, and i'm going to come back to my bucket into objects and i'm going to upload this form i just saved okay so this is form v2 um and i so i want to make sure the permissions are public yes i know and upload and so i should be able to come here I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to take another page, but it's form v2 access denied. Did I? I it's probably because I did the, the uppercase, because you shouldn't do that. Yeah, form v2. Oh, wait. Oh, ha, that's where it opened the one. Amazon form lowercase. Me too. Yeah, so the, here it is. So I should be able to say, my name is Jeff. Sure. Tonga. Uh, let's just put some junk here. And if I hit submit, and I've done this right, I've got an internal server error. Let's look at that. Refresh. Oh, you know why? I don't have a user. So I need to come back here to my form processor. Let's just comment this out. And let's delete this. Deploy. And I'm going to come back here and hit the back. Jeff Shuratanga submit. Sweet. So you can see that uh, if you get an error, bad things happen, right? So make sure you handle your errors. Um, we have all the data showing up now. So all we'd have to do is decide which items we're interested in and what we want to do with it. And we can code whatever we'd like. But we now have a, we have a form page. We have a form processing Lambda function. Um, we have uh, an API gateway that uh, enables that to happen. So, and of course, we've looked at CloudWatch a couple times. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this is helpful. Have a good one.